this is where we have previously where we get the user id so let's keep scrolling and look at all the things that we can do you can have a subscription observer uh, you can get the tags so if you tag all your users you can get all your tags back you can send tag you can send tags you can delete tag uh, prompt location if you want to prompt users location and then sending notifications so this is what we need now so in order to send notification it's quite simple <laughs> allow you allows you to send notification from one user to user or schedule one this is the code that you need so you want to copy the code here because it's a sample code we can uh, we can uh, explore it uh, as long as you understand what is going on you can always copy codes so especially when it's being done by third parties not by Apple or something so you don't need to understand the full details of what they're doing let's go back to the xcode and then we're going to use that here in the function for okay so here is a one signal post notification very simple and it takes a dictionary so the first thing it takes is the language that you're delivering in so first of all the key is called content and the content will be the message you want to send and the language and then an array of player IDs so here when you are sending it to for example if you want to send it so let's say for somebody uh, liked a message and then you want to notify all the people that are involved in that particular message then you can input the array from all those users here you can input the player IDs in this array this is why the player IDs uh, is an array because you can send push notification to multiple people at the same time so here what we want to do is when the user um, one thing we didn't do let me go back is to get let's create we need to create um, an IB outlet for the text view so I'm just going to call it text view okay so let's go back into standard mode right so I'm going to move this code in fact, I don't need this code at all. I do not need this code anymore. I just want to show you so that in the future you are able to do this yourself to get the user ID. Okay, so what, what we want to do is the message here will not be an hard coded message. It's going to be text view dot text, whatever is typed into the text view. That will be the push notification message. And then the player ID, I'm simply just going to copy it from here. So we already know that this is my player ID. So copy because I want to send it from the um, simulator to the device. So the, this is my device ID. Remember, you cannot. Can you actually send it to yourself? That's something to test. So now I'm going to delete the player ID in this one and I'm going to paste the one for my phone. OK, so now let's run it on the simulator so basically when you click a uh, user click send push we post notification which is going to be the content of text with the text to my device so let's run that and let me bring the quick time up to show my screen so where's my screen okay this is my screen at the moment let me confirm that it's working okay my my phone is fine so what we do is I'm going to let me edit select I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna say the I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put iPhone or colon okay moment of truth send push let's see if we're going to receive it on my phone there you go see that's how you send push notification from one device to another device. Let's try again. Let's delete everything here. Select all. Uh, let's just say this is another push notification message sent from the simulator to the device. Okay, send notification. It doesn't take long. There you go. 
push notification comes in um, let's do this if we go to the app delegate and then here where it says notification the type type dot here is a in app alert so let's choose that i just want to show you that you, you can configure some of these options and now let's run it again let me bring the quick time player out okay let's send push there you go. oh it's not showing us as in app alert hmm. interesting i think i need to run the same code on my phone first to see the changes so let me also run that on my phone. I think the reason is because the device doesn't have the new build. So I need to unlock my device. The device doesn't have a new build, but the simulator has. So that's why we need to upload. So let's try again from the push notification here. There you go. So as you can see, the changes is reflected. So this is what I was explaining previously. You can have an app display while the user is using the app when you send a push notification, or you can have it slide down from the top. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to touch on anything more, but you can see this is how you get the user device and device ID, the player ID. This is how you send the push notification. And you have a very comprehensive documentation here, which gives you a lot of sample codes. And as you can see, we've used a lot of sample codes. And so anything you want to do, like if you want to add a tag to a user, you can tag them and then you can send notification to that particular segment of users. This is going to be the end of the push notification app. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.